everyone welcome to my channel I love loopies crochet and treasures if you're new to my channel my name is Tracy and I live in Alabama I love to crochet and I love yarn and uh, that's what my channel is mostly about but I do have other things that I share uh, on my channel but uh, if you're new I want to welcome you and I hope you like it here and I hope you stay and I want to say thank you to all of you who always come back and watch my videos and spend time with me it really does bless me and I appreciate it so much and um, especially when you watch my videos from beginning to end that always helps me out if you like my videos give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button down below this video because it's free and I would love to have you as a yarny friend uh, and I love reading your comments y'all are so wonderful y'all always leave me such the sweetest comments and it really, really does bless me. You just don't know how much. And um, and also, I have an Etsy shop. Uh, I'll link it in the description box of this video. Um, I, I love to make necklaces and earrings and stitch markers and all kinds of things. And um, I've got, I just updated my Etsy shop not long ago. So, I'm going to show you a few things I put on there. And plus, I'm going to show you some things that I finished. And um, so, still been having a little trouble with my... Um, I guess it's my thumb. It goes down right here on my hand. It just sometimes it just hurts, and that's the that's the hand I I hold my yarn with. So I don't know. It looks like the one I crochet with would be the one to hurt, but it, it's this one. So I don't know. Um, I got to thinking though. A while back, I I was picking up one of my crop pots. You know, the inside comes out and they're pretty heavy, and I kind of dropped it, and I don't know if I injured it or what, but. I mean that could have been it I don't know but it should be getting better by now I would think but it I've still been crocheting haven't stopped <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a few things that I just put on my Etsy shop um, I sold some of them that I put on there but I put some new necklaces on there and I love 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 to make them but it, it does hurt my, my thumb. So that's why I hadn't really been making a whole bunch of them. But I love this one. I've sold several in this color. Um, it's kind of boho stylish. Kind of 80s too, you know. So that one. And then I got this one that's purples and yellows. And I thought it'd come out real pretty and springy. Or summery. And so I made those. Um, and then I'm just going to show real quick a few of the stitch markers. Not all of them because you can see them better on my Etsy shop. Um, but that one's got John 316 and the praying hands on it. And um, and then I thought this was cute. Um, it's, it's an egg. <laughs> egg stitch marker. And then... These are earrings, and I like them. They're so cute. Little uh, mushrooms. And then this one is, I love Jesus and a cross, and those beads are kind of pearl. It's pretty. And then I have these mushrooms. The beads are really shiny and bright. I you can't see them real, real good. I thought those was cute and fun. It's a cat and a mouse. And, oh, I like this one of the turtle. And I like the way the beads go with it. They come out really cute. And this is so pretty. I love these beads. It says friends and it's got coffee, a coffee cup. This is kind of like a fidget spinner. You can turn it. So I thought that was cute. Oh, and I love these. This is fish. I thought it'd come out cute. Oh, and these, I got a pair of these I wear all the time. So I made a pair to put on my shop. And this is really pretty. And I think that's all the newest ones. Well, no, here's one that's got the uh, whale tail and the shark and the ocean wave. 
and the stones are very pretty that's down there with it and I think, think that's it for the newest ones I might have missed some it's easier to see them on my Etsy shop okay and I also have a little happy mail to share with y'all I got a card in the mail today from Barbara she lives on the sailboat in Florida and she's friends with a lot of us here on YouTube and she's always sending us cards and postcards and all that stuff so she sent me a, a homemade card um, that's got Phil and Beachy on it ain't that cute uh, and she wrote me a little note on the inside she gave me her new address because her son had moved and uh, she had went to her 50th wedding I mean not wedding 50th high school reunion and uh her and her husband were sweethearts in high school and they got they got they've been together since high you know since high school and so i just think that's uh really really unique and that's a blessing to be with someone that long um so but anyway thank you barbara so much for my card you are so sweet and uh, I really appreciate you so much. So thank you for my card and for thinking about me. Uh, I guess I'll show you all the... Uh, oh, and this is in my Etsy shop. I almost forgot. I put a new lovey on there. It's a monkey. I had it. i just been forgetting to put it on there. But it, it's a pretty good size lovey. And it's very squishy and soft. And um, I think it's so cute. And I used the tutorial by... Uh, in our uh, Zelda NRJ3 so I can link the if I can remember I'll link the uh, tutorial for it in the description box so you could make one if you wanted to but so I just put that out on my Etsy shop and then I'm gonna show y'all what I've been working on that I started last night and it's the stained glass blanket I've got to go on I think it's Jan, Jan um, Oh, man. Oh, the Alaskan crafter, I think's her name. I'm not sure, but I'll leave her in the description box. But I think she's she's got a challenge or something going on. i got to go watch that video and figure out more about it. But I think everybody's going to try to make one of these blankets to, to for Boggy Creek, the ones that we do for the children at Boggy Creek, so they all can have the same kind of um, blankets on their beds in the cabin. And, um, but I didn't know what to, to use, so I just decided to, to use this um, Polo Stripes by uh, Red Heart Super Saver. And it, they got 236 yards on them, and I got three of them. And then, but I got these two that's the stripes, the same, you know, they're 100% acrylic. And they have, what did I say, 236 yards. And so I might like do a skein of this and then come in with the skein of this. I thought that might look good. I don't know. We're doing stained glass, so I guess anything could go, huh? Y'all let me know what you think about that. But I, I think it would work if I didn't have enough. And then I'm just using the black yarn from um, Big Twist. And I think I got a couple of these. And they got 380 yards on there. And this is the pattern <clears throat> by Bag o Day. Y'all all know that I love Crystal over at Bag o Day. I love all of her, her designs, all of her patterns, and everything are just wonderful. And I, I try to make everything that she makes because I just love her. And I love all her designs. So I think this is a pattern by Bag o Day. And I'll leave it in the description box in case you want to make one. Uh, and then I made... Um, another blanket now if these all measure right and i have a whole tub over there i gotta send to nancy over she's got yarn too i'll leave her in the description box because she's the one that's over the boggy creek um camp us doing the blankets for them, her and her mom and then i think she invited lynette from charm grammy crochet and billy the crafty floridian so they all are are together on this and and they do a live and show all the blankets that people send her. And uh, I think you have through January to get them to her. I'm not sure. But it will all be in her um, video if you want to check it out. Because the kids get to take these blankets home with them. And Boggy Creek is a camp for kids who have 
uh, illnesses and sicknesses and things that they can't go to normal normal camps. So Paul Newman and some other man started this camp for these kids, and they have doctors and uh, nurses and everything on staff there. And last year, Nancy and, and um, Lynette and them went and delivered the blankets to Boggy Creek, and um, so you might want to watch that video. But I just love it because it's got to do with kids. So I made this blanket and I used the pattern by Nastasia or Nastasia. Um, so she's really good about explaining stuff too. And I did the Jacob's Ladder. And it's the first time I've done it. But I think this blanket is the right measurements for Boggy Creek. So I may send it to them. Uh, to Nancy. And um, but ain't that pretty? And remember the yarn I got from Hershner's not long ago. Um, I, this that's the yarn that I use in these uh, four colors. So, um, and I like this yarn; it's fairly soft, and we'll see how it washes up. I, I gotta wash my blanket, but before I send it to Nancy. But it's the color, this is Aaron. It's the white color. Um, this one is Honeysuckle. And this one is Peachy. And this one is Salmon. And it's the Hershner's Worsted Yarn. But it came in a pack. All four came in a pack. Um, the 100% acrylic, and each one has two, 489 yards on it. It's the number four. And so that's what I used to make that. And I, I enjoyed working with that yarn. Okay, and then I made another blanket using one of my bobbins I got. Um, where did I put the bobbin? <laughs> I used it all but a few little... I didn't bring them in here, but it's the uh, Premier Anti-Peeling Everyday Bobbins, and they have uh, 543 total yards, and I used two of them, and it's the number four medium, and the color I used is, la 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 la, let's see if I can find it, y'all, oh, Well, I'm not seeing the color. Oh, there it is. Cherry's Jubilee. And uh, I made this, and it's a bag of day. Uh, and this is the right size for Boggy Creek. Um, it's like a chevron blanket, and it's by Crystal Obert Bag of Day. And I used two bobbins. And um, I think it come out really pretty. I love those colors together. See, am I showing y'all the, I think I'm showing y'all the wrong side, but it's pretty on either side, really. But, yeah, I made that, so I thought it was pretty, and it's kind of Christmassy, so, okay, and I used this yarn, no, I used um, the, the bobbins. Okay, then Lucy, my mannequin's wearing a cowl that I made by Bag, bag o Day. Uh, crystal and I think I might have messed up a little bit when I was sewing it together because she sewed hers together But you don't have to um, But I use I think I got this out of one of crystals uh, mystery boxes. It's the bonbon yarn um, It's machine washable and it, The color number is seven one oh three three nine and it's written in another language So I can't tell a whole lot about it but there it is. I think I used two of them. Well, this was what was left out of the second one. But ain't it pretty? Don't Lucy look pretty in it, y'all? I just love it. So I'm going to take it off and bring it a little closer. So you can see I love that stitch. Ain't that pretty, y'all? I don't want to mess up my hair, but let me see if I can put it on. Mess up my hair. It's always a mess. I'm going to have to put that on there a little tighter. 
But y'all can get the gist of it. I, I, I can't see to put it on right. But I love it. Ain't it pretty? I just got to fix this up where it'll stay up. Very pretty. That would be so pretty um, this winter under a jacket. So I made that, and that yarn is really soft and nice to work with. Um, see, I think I messed up when I <laughs> when I sewed it together. Um, There you go. I think it's pretty. So that's what I've been up to, y'all. I've been crocheting up a storm. Oh, I got a little bit of yarn to show y'all. I went to this Walmart I go to every once in a while, and they had some of the speckle yarn. Crystal over at Bag of Days just put out a blanket. Or she's going to put out a blanket using this yarn. And it's so pretty. She showed it on her live last night. And, um, but I didn't get this color last time, but they had, had it at this one, so I got it, and it's the Cherry Speckle. I just love that yarn, y'all. I think the colors is really what makes it. Uh, but I got that one, and that one, and that one. I've had these two before, and I made a blanket using these two in the white color, but ain't that beautiful? Look at that. Uh, it's Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo Speckle. 489 yards on it. And this is Bubblegum Speckle. And um, it's the number four. And 482 yards. So that's, that's nice. I like that. And this color is uh, Cherry Speckle. And this color is Light Blue Speckle. I think that's real pretty. So, that's what I got. And y'all, I've got an order coming from Pleta Stinley Yarn. Um, I'll be glad when it gets here. I've been saving my pennies so I could do an order from there. And uh, so, I'm looking so forward to it, y'all. Oh, they got some of the most beautiful cakes and things. So, I had some that my friend Rissa had gifted me. And um, so, but I've never bought any myself and um but i finally broke down after saving my pennies and did an order and i'll share it with you when it comes in i also want to thank y'all for the uh comments and for y'all watching the um the snack box with me and my husband y'all made him feel so welcome with your comments it's just i want to thank y'all so much i didn't get a whole lot of views on that video um, but the ones who, who did watch, I appreciate it. And the ones who commented, I appreciate your comments because, uh, y'all made Loop Dog feel welcomed and we had so much fun. We looked like two nuts, but we had fun and, uh, there was a little bloopers in there, but I just went right on with the video. So, um, if you haven't seen it and you want to laugh, get, get a good laugh, you could go over. It's the last one that I posted before this one. And um, I, I was really surprised that my husband agreed to do it with me, but he did. And my grandson really got a kick out of it, but he thought it was so funny. And uh, so, but I'm going to get off of here, y'all. I hope y'all all have a wonderful and blessed day, and I appreciate you spending time with me. You really bless me. And uh, I love reading your comments. And uh, so, uh, y'all take care. And if you want to make those Boggy Creek blankets for the kids in Florida at that camp, I'm going to be leaving um, Nancy's, a video of Nancy talking about it and the sizes and all that stuff. So, I'll talk to y'all later. I love you guys. Bye.